In today's class, we are going to study about measures of relationship in statistics. In a simple way, we can say the measures of relationship in statistics as correlation. So let's see what is correlation. So when a researcher plan to conduct a study, he need to work upon more than one variable at a time to understand the relationship or the dependence of one variable over another. So I think you might be knowing what is a variable. So variable means these are the qualities, properties or characteristics of a person or a situation uh, which may change or vary. So usually in a research study, uh, there are so many variables, but the researcher will concentrate upon the independent and the dependent variable. So an independent variable means it may be a stimulus or an activity that is manipulated by the researcher to see the effect upon the dependent variable. The same way, a dependent variable means what? And this is the outcome or the response due to the effect upon the independent variable. Okay, so here... In correlation, the researcher want to see the type of relationship that existing between the variables which may be independent variable or a dependent variable. For example, I can give you uh, to understand the relationship between the birth weight of a newborn baby and the gestational age and to identify the relationship between smoking and the development of a lung cancer. So, this relationship is known as correlation. So, here we will see the definition of correlation. The relationship between two quantitatively measured or continuous variables is known as correlation. Whereas, the degree or the magnitude of the relationship between these two variables are known as correlation coefficient. So, here I am giving you the definition of correlation and what is correlation coefficient. Simply, the relationship between the quantitatively measured variables are known as correlation and the degree of their relationship is known as correlation coefficient. Okay. So, here the correlation coefficient is denoted by the small letter R. Next, we will see uh, the types of correlation. So, first one is the positive correlation. As the name indicates, if one variable is increasing with an increases in the second variable, these type of relationships are known as positive correlation. Which means, here the change is happening in the same direction. Either both the variable will increase or both the variable will decrease. Okay, so here I am giving you some examples like... If the cholesterol level increases, what happens to the blood pressure? The blood pressure will also increase. So here, both the variables are increasing. That is, there is if there is an increase in one variable, there will be corresponding increases in the other variable also. Such correlations are known as positive correlations. Which means, if one variable is increasing with the, and increases in the second variable, this is known as positive correlation. So, it, it doesn't say that there should not be, there should be only the increase should happen. There can be an increase or both will decrease. Okay. So, that is positive correlation. And the second one is negative correlation. So, negative correlation means, if one variable is decreasing with an increasing in the second variable, this type of correlation is known as negative correlation. Okay, so here one example. If the amount of exposure to the radiation increases, what happens to the fetal birth weight? The fetal birth weight will decrease. So here an increase in the radiation is causing a decrease in the fetal weight. So this type of correlation is known as negative correlation. And another example also I am giving you as the age advances, what happens to the memory level of a person? As the age advances, the memory level will start to decrease. So this is a type of negative correlation. Okay. And we'll see some of the common examples of correlation from our nursing field itself. Uh, first one, the degree of overcrowding and the prevalence of pulmonary TB is well correlated. How they are correlated? As the degree of overcrowding increases, the chances of getting pulmonary TB is what it is. It will also increase. So they are well correlated. 
then the economic status and the health status are well correlated so the what about the health status of the people from low economic status so their health status are very poor as the economic status increases the health availability as well as the health status of the individual will also increase the next one bmi and iq are not correlated there is no uh, as uh, such study shows that there is a relationship between the bmi and the iq hence there is no correlation then the under one aging and bp are positively correlated which means what as the age increases there are chances of increasing the bp okay and someone extra the severity of malnutrition is well correlated with the, the severity of pulmonary tb so we already learned malnutrition is also a cause of development of pulmonary tb so as the severity of the malnutrition increases the severity of developing the pulmonary tb also increases then the degree of adiposity and cholesterol levels are positively correlated okay then the intake of proteins and availability of calories are positively correlated so as you all know the proteins will give the highest calorie so when the protein intake will increases the availability of calories also increases so that is a positive correlation so i think you got a basic idea regarding what is correlation and what is correlation coefficient so in the upcoming classes we will be discussing regarding the correlation coefficient that is called pearson's correlation coefficient okay so thanks for watching